Hello friends, today we are going to see the 14th lesson plan. So, fill up the details, class, standard 8, unit, organization of life and topic, human body process. Okay. Instructional objectives, the pupil acquires the knowledge of the various functions of organizational setup. Understands the process that helps to keep the system balanced. Summarize the process by which mixing of foodstuffs and digestive juices occur in gut and how exchange of gases takes place. Define osmosis and osmoregulation. Explain why osmoregulation and osmotic balance are important body functions. Describe how these processes help the animals to adapt to different environments. Instructional resources, chart depicting the different human process, flashcard showing the name osmoregulation, working model for diffusion of gases. Previous knowledge, human body, <coughs> sorry, human body temperature is constant. When you have fever, what happens to the body temperature? When we eat, how the foodstuffs are mixed with digestive juices? By what process it occurs? What happens to the tea bag when placed in a hot water? How the smell of agarbati spread to the entire room? How does the animals adapt to the surrounding environmental conditions? Now we have to write here a declaration of the topic human body process. So we start the content by defining homeostasis. It is a self-regulating process that tends to maintain the balance for survival. Process of integration and coordination of function are mediated by nervous and hormonal system. So the teacher defines the term homeostasis and its process. The student interprets the term homeostasis. Which helps to maintain homeostasis in human body. The student... Okay. The student interprets, I have told. Now we move on to the next content. Liver, kidney, brain, autonomic nervous system and endocrine system help to maintain. Example, when body temperature rises, sweat is produced. So we explain by saying blood glucose when it increases, insulin hormone is secreted. Blood glucose when it decreases, glucagon hormone is secreted. So the teacher states an example of homeostasis and the student associates and understands the process. Give an example of homeostasis. Next we give a, a small equation presentation by writing diffusion. So when the movement of the particles is from high concentration area to low concentration area it is to equalize the concentration so the teacher explains the diffusion process through diagrammatic representation and the student understands the explanation of diffusion process where does the particle move from in diffusion process so we give an example by saying that perfume spreading the whole room adding drop of ink in water tea bag placed in hot water. So the teacher points out the examples for diffusion process and the student experiments these simple examples at home and learn. In tea bag experiment how diffusion occurs we can question them. Osmosis movement of solvent particle across a semi permeable membrane from dilute solution into concentrated solution. So the teacher briefs the osmosis process. And here we say the purpose to equalize the concentration on both sides of the membrane. 
so the student follows the process explained by the teacher and we ask the question like why does the particle move from diluted solution to concentrated solution so now we move, we move on to the types three types of situations are isotonic hypertonic and hypotonic first isotonic concentration of external and internal solution are the same hypertonic external concentration is greater than internal concentration of the organism hypotonic external concentration is less compared to the inner solution so the teacher here distinguishes the types of so situations in osmosis okay so the student interprets in different situations and understands define the osmosis in different situations now we move on to the osmo regulation which is coined by hober in 1902 the organism regulates the water balance in body and maintain the homeostasis of body it controls the excess water loss or gain and maintaining the fluid balance and osmotic os concentration so the teacher defines the osmo regulation process and the student listens to the osmo regulation definition what is the main purpose of osmo regulation so we move on to the types of osmo regulation as osmo conformers osmo regulators Osmo conformers maintains the internal molality matching with surrounding. Osmo regulators maintains the internal molality different from that of surrounding through physiological process. So the teacher describes the different types of osmo regulation process and the student understands the difference between the osmo conformers and osmo regulators. Describe the types of osmo regulation. now we move on to the recapitulation part what is the main purpose of osmosis describe the types of osmo regulation give examples of homeostasis what is diffusion follow up activities place a tea bag in a cup of water that is hot note down the observation find out more examples of homeostasis So you be wind up with the student teacher signature. Thank you, friends. Please subscribe my channel.